surely Bob Show is going to show us how to maximize your patio space by growing vegetables designed for your patio. What right. kind of vegetables do you grow in a container? Oh. And do they taste different? Oh, oh God, they taste so better. Good. They're and better? Look, no, so, as you really? can see here, we can grow a variety of different mm -hmm. types of vegetables, including tomatoes, cucumbers, eggplant, peppers, and I want to show well, off well, some yeah, of these. Come over here, everybody can see this. Okay, look, we have a four foot by two foot trough here, but look, all of the stuff yeah, that's that. growing. Look, this here is the super sauce. You're gonna love this one for making your uh, tomato sauce. It's the largest tomato that you can grow ever. And this is by Burpee Home Gardens, all of these vegetables. And they've created special tomatoes. I love and <laughs> yeah, Bur uh, yeah, Burpee, yeah, it's a good name. Burpee Home Gardens <laughs> makes all of these different types of varieties that are great in containers. Look at this, this is a pepper that is kind of like a habanero, but it doesn't have that bite. It's oh. really sweet and delicious. It's called Tangerine Dream. And then another type, maybe you're into cherry tomatoes, right? Look at these golden ones. They're Here, take just, one. They're, they make so great good. salsa and... Here, you're gonna hold it. It's okay. good luck for you. Okay. You don't like tomatoes? Check this. I do, but oh, I, okay. I don't. All right, I am too excited about this. Look at how little this cucumber mm. plant is, yeah. right? But look at the huge cucumbers. Is that amazing? Oh, so big. Look at that cucumber. Yeah. And this is a cucumber called Party uh, Patio Snacker. And it gives you a full-size cucumber. And as you can see, we even have one hanging here. Look at that. That is so beautiful. That's an award-winning tomato called Tomato Torenzo. And it's super sweet and gives you one ounce uh, size fruit. I, so, I mean, I just got, look at this and I think juicing and wonderful fresh salads. Oh, yeah. There's, you can mix that. in the lettuces, yeah. mix in the herbs, and all kinds of stuff. Perfect. Well, and when we're doing something like this, Shirley, versus a garden and traditional planting, what right. are some of the key elements you want to keep in mind when planting in a container? Right. right. Okay. Actually, it's very straightforward. The most important thing is you need to have sunshine. So, if you have a okay. patio at home, make sure that it gets at least six to eight hours if you want to grow tomatoes and crops if you want to grow lettuces and herbs you can get away with four to six hours the other thing that you're going to need is a really good container for growing these crops now tomatoes cucumbers eggplants you need something at least this size this what size is, is, what this, size 18, is this 18 inch this is 18 inch diameter it's at least 12 inches tall mm -hmm. and you know if you're not going to grow that you can get these little inexpensive uh towers which i have here in front these are a dollar each at the dollar store and look, I have 12 different herbs here. Set so up. you can go small or big. When you go this big, my concern is they get so heavy then. Ah, oh, you set me up. <laughs> look at this, casters. That oh. is your best friend if you're gonna have a patio garden. Because oh, right. you love can just, that. you know, move it around. But you also, I guess, go in this way instead of like the clay pots or the terra yeah, pot or whatnot, you the know? Clay pots, remember, they're heavier yeah. and they wick water away from the soil so they really oh. Oh, get dry sure. fast, which is my next thing that you're gonna need. You need to be vig vigilant about watering your containers. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, do you have to punch a hole in these things? Always make sure it has a drain hole. So mm -hmm. make sure you keep it moist but not logged with water because that's the number one killer of plants, mm -hmm. too much water. Also, container plants are dependent on you to feed, so get Get a nice organic balanced fertilizer and then just follow the instructions for feeding that. And then lastly, the most important thing if you're gonna grow crops is get plants that are made for containers. You'll find them on the tag. It says dwarf or compact varieties. And that's what you want. And that's what like, for instance, the Burpee Home Gardens line, mm -hmm. they have a special line for containers. Wonderful. All, all right, wonderful. so we are talking a lot about home improvement here, and yeah. uh, there's a great sweepstakes going on right now, Shirley. I know you want to share with the audience I what do. that is. Hey, you guys, I'm really excited to tell you about Hallmark Channel's first annual Renew It All sweepstakes, and it's the ultimate how-to sweepstakes where someone is going to be able to renew their home. And the entries are from March 31st through May 11th, and you can go online to hallmarkchannel.com forward slash renew it all and enter it for a chance to win. You want to know what? What did we win? Oh my God, $15,000 right towards that. fixing your home. That's wow. amazing, but there's more. Uh, you will also win uh, for two people to come to Los Angeles, California to join us come on. at Home and Family come on and home. be on our show That's and be right. our friends. And we'll feed you. We're going to feed you. And then much. there's more, a $2,500 gift certificate from Lumber Liquidators and a $2,500 uh, gift certificate from Ace Hardware. You can do a lot of renewing with that. Just save some of it for your garden. That's right. So good luck, guys. <laughs> yes, and come down and see us here at home and family. And a big thanks to Burphy Home Gardens. And for more information from Shirley, you can visit our Home and Family Facebook page.